In early March, the year 2021, scientists first noticed a space hurricane with electron rainfall in the Earth's ionosphere. They managed to observe a swirling mass of plasma a thousand kilometers wide above the North Pole. According to their calculations, it predicts that in the year 2025, the Earth may be overtaken by an even more powerful space hurricane. NASA says there's no way to escape it. What if it turns out to be true? In that case, in this video, I'll help you make a list of basic supplies for survival in a space hurricane and share a secret place that might serve you as a shelter. You'll find out how can we be killed by something that we can't even see or feel? Why will you exchange gold for glass? Why will adults fight over baby food? What can be waiting for us in 2025? And how can we get through that year? Has mankind ever experienced anything like this? For the first time, scientists have discovered a space hurricane of plasma in the Earth's upper atmosphere on the 20th of August, 2014. By the way, the USA celebrates National Lemonade Day on that day. People didn't notice any extremely unusual events. That space hurricane passed unnoticed. But if it can't distract us from a glass of lemonade, then why should we fear the hurricane of 2025? If lemonade can be overdone with syrups, a space hurricane can be overdone with coronal mass ejections. It's all about solar flares. During normal solar activity, their ejection moves towards the Earth in the form of a large number of charged particles. They reach the Earth within two to four whole days, and most of them, fortunately, keep the Earth's magnetic field in the upper atmosphere. If it weren't for that protection, that super flare would have led us to an environmental disaster, burned the forests, and exposed every living thing to harmful UV radiation. But an increased charged particle burst would be fatal to electronics. It first happened in 1921. Astronomers observed a huge sunspot with a radius of about 150,000 kilometers. A geomagnetic storm disabled half of the New York Central Railroad equipment and left almost the entire east coast of the United States without communication. This event was called the Railroad Storm. Let me remind you that this is just usual solar activity. In 2025, it's expected to reach its peak, and the consequences will be dire. Because compared to the early 20th century, we're a lot more dependent on electronics. Trains will break off, traffic lights will stop working in the streets, complete chaos in the transport system. You won't be able to call your grandfather on WhatsApp to ask how he's feeling. Now, to communicate, you'll have to pay a visit. So, the first thing to put on your Survival 2025 list is a bike. It will help solve the problem with both getting around and communication. How powerful can solar storms be? There's one thing in the solar ejection that even our planet's protective shield cannot always defend us from, and this is the electromagnetic field of charged particles. You'll not be able to finish cooking a soft-boiled egg as the electric stove, light, and any other equipment will turn off. The power of solar storms is equal to the energy that our entire civilization could consume within a million years. Overvoltage damage to the stove or fridge is the smallest part of the disastrous consequences. The geomagnetic storm of 1989 called the Quebec Power Blackout, caused extensive disruptions in the energy system of the Canadian province of Quebec. It disrupted high-frequency radio links around the world and destroyed an electrical transformer at the Salem nuclear power plant. The only good news is that during the storm, the most beautiful northern lights were observed to the latitude of Mexico and Grand Cayman. Imagine that your house collapsed, but a rainbow appeared over it people experienced the same mixed emotions that day. Therefore, if you're a romantic, add binoculars to the list. 
you'd be more comfortable observing a full range of colors the sky will prepare for you on the eve of the apocalypse. But first of all, think about what you'll eat so as not to die. You wouldn't be able to microwave a lasagna from the supermarket anymore. Without electricity, food will get spoiled in heated refrigerators very quickly. Add canned food and baby food to the survival list. Even if you don't have children, this highly nutritious product will help you out a lot. You'll need firewood and matches to make a fire. Now you have barbecue every day. But what is waiting for us in 2025? The problem is that nobody takes the global space threat warning seriously. And there's nothing weird about that. Scientists have repeatedly made mistakes with predictions for the end of the world, starting with the Elenin Comet in 2011 to collision with Nibiru in 2012. Both never happened. Caitlin Durkovich, a special assistant to the U.S. president, is frustrated with people thinking space weather is Hollywood fiction. Most scientists agree that worrisome developments are inevitable. Only the magnitude of the implications fluctuates, which depends on the power of solar flares. Maybe the sun will spare us, and the flares won't be that violent. But in the worst case, a space hurricane will run the sequence of events on Earth that will look kind of like this. The year 2025. You're quietly watching Netflix on your laptop. Suddenly, the video stops. You're nervously refreshing the page, and you see just an annoying pixel dino. You're turning the switch on, but there's no light. You want to call the relevant services, but all communications stopped as well. Confused, you go outside like many other people. While you're standing with a cold slice of pizza in your hand, something much worse is happening in the world. Electricity and water pumping stations have stopped working. But the worst part is that Space Hurricane has disabled the satellites, which means that military, scientific, and meteorological personnel will actually go blind. Aircraft will crash, going down on residential areas and highways with monster traffic jams. No matter how much money you have on your card, you won't be able to cash it because ATMs will stop working. You could withdraw cash right away and keep it under a mattress, but all security systems will also be disabled. Your security will be put at risk. Robbery and looting will begin. Therefore, add a gun to your list so that you can stand up for yourself. What will the consequences be? The first month after electron rainfall, the power generated by solar panels and portable generators has been depleted. The energy of backup generators and health facilities has been spent on those most in need. The rest have to be treated with folk remedies. Before your smartphone is completely discharged, you've managed to redraw the last map you downloaded. Six months after the event, the positioning accuracy of the GPS satellite network will start to drop. And soon it will be completely useless. You're taking a sketched map, a backpack with everything on the survival 2025 list, a few bottles of water and hit the road. It has become unsafe to remain in an unprotected house in a society where chaos reigns. One year after the event. To effectively explore the post-apocalyptic world, you'll need special equipment. There is one material that has become indispensable for science in the process of its development. It is glass. It's needed to create various lenses for microscopes and telescopes. Most likely, we'll draw from the experience of post-war reconstruction and recovery from natural disasters and cataclysms. How to make yourself as safe as possible. You may not believe all this because solar cycles are much more flexible than our Earth's time systems based on the sun, and scientists may not know about the next space hurricane until it happens. But if you take their warning seriously, you hardly want to die from a plane crashing down on you. 
and you certainly don't want to experience all the chaos on a space hurricane day. Millionaires and politicians will definitely find a place to hide, and you won't have much luck finding a golden ticket in a chocolate bar to enter a secret government bunker. So what, if something happens, should we, ordinary people, do? I found a place that could serve as a refuge. And this is the underwater Orsund Bridge between Sweden and Denmark. Hidden underwater and with concrete columns, it's ideal for becoming a safe shelter. Also, there's plenty of space. Here are its coordinates. You may not need them, but if the end of the world scenario comes to pass, the world would need people to help recover technology, science, and society. If you're ready to undertake such a responsible mission, Start packing your backpack and tell us in the comments what else can be added to the Survival 2025 selection.